I have about five questions asking me, where is Jamal? I haven't seen him in any of your vlogs. It's a reason why y'all haven't seen Jamal in my vlogs. Hey y'all, what's T and welcome to Rain So. If you just clicked on this video, you probably just know this. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, holiday. Wait, hold on, hold on, holiday. Bring that shit back. Girl, it's flawed sober. Banji, Banji, Banji. He's so Banji. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's T and welcome to Rain So Banji. If you are new to my channel, I ask that you subscribe before you leave. And if you've been here before, welcome back. It is day one of Vlogtober. I am so nervous, I'm so scared. Like, I promise y'all I wouldn't crack. And I'm going to kick off day one of Vlogtober with a nice Q&A. But before I get into the Q&A, I just want to introduce myself to others that may be new here. Greetings, my name is Ryan, the eighth out of nine multi-talented gems that Jackie Mac birthed. Some of you may know me on YouTube as Black Denim, where I did mukbangs on my mukbang channel, gaining over 26,000 subscribers and over 2 million views. Some of you may see me on your TV screen, where I was featured in a Google commercial. Before life as a YouTuber, I was a dancer, dance instructor, runway model, and a youth coach at my alma mater. Girl, she done did a lot in her 26 years. But let's get down to the questions that you guys had asked me. First question, two people asked this, the Bonita Uno and K Crown Me Queen. Where's the mukbangs? I miss eating with you. You guys, I am done with my mukbang channel. I actually will be rebranding that channel pretty soon. Um, but as of now, it is inactive, but you can always refer back to some of the older videos. Now, any event that y'all just have to see me eat, I will have my cash app available to you to sponsor a mukbang if you would like to see me eat at BL4CK Denim. That is BL4CK Denim. You can cash out me to sponsor a video, but let me let you know, crabs ain't $12.99 a pound no more, honey. They're $26 a pound. So... You know, it, it's welcome to you. If you would like to sponsor a mukbang video, there is my cash app. I have another question from The Bonita Uno. She asked, what's my biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is asking me a lot of questions back to back to back to back. I can not stand that it drives me insane. Next question from I am forever S. Dot. Are you still planning to move to Atlanta? And if so, how soon? Yes, I am still planning on moving to Atlanta, hopefully in the next two years. That was always my goal. Oh my gosh, I, I cannot wait to move to the A. I am a complete mama's boy and you know, not like the stereotype mama's boy. I'm saying like me and my mama, we are very, very close. She get so emotional anytime I bring up moving to Atlanta. For one, she hates Atlanta. For two, she just do not want me to be so far away from the city. So, I know, I'm, don't cry. I said I wasn't gonna cry. Next question always, JJ Mom. What is your zodiac sign? I am an Aquarius, period. My birthday is January 22nd, and I was born in the year of 1995. Some of y'all graduated in that year. Don't think I don't know. Next question is from Miss McIntosh. Are you a top or a bottom? <laughs> Girl. Let's just say the neighborhood that I'm from on the north side. I'm from the bottom. You feel me? Next question. Have you ever been with a girl? Yes, I have. I really haven't practiced my sexuality until I was like... I was grown. I had to be... 19 or 20 years old when I first started talking to dudes or dating dudes So yeah, do you want to get married? Yes, I would love to get married. I just want my wedding I just want a big garden wedding full of flowers and greenery and just 
going down the aisle, see my husband looking at me like, damn. Oh, oh. I have a question from Sweet Sadie 813. What is your fave brunch spot in Jacksonville? Let me think. I don't think I have a favorite brunch spot. Um, if I would have to choose my favorite brunch spot, spot in Jacksonville would be Bluefish Grill out in Five Points. I love Bluefish Grill. I go there for brunch, lunch, dinner, happy hour. It's just a total vibe and they are very, very inexpensive and you get a lot for your bucks, seriously. I have about five questions asking me, where is Jamal? I haven't seen him in any of your vlogs. It's a reason why y'all haven't seen Jamal. Let's see where he at, y'all. Hold on. Hello. Hey, Jamal. What's up? Everybody want to know what you're doing and where you at. Nothing. I'm at work. There you have it. No, but seriously, y'all, a lot of people have really been reaching and just hoping for a drama between Jamal and I. Like, I keep telling, I keep telling y'all that Jamal is in school and he is working his free time he is studying and sleeping y'all know that boy love his naps and he loves to sleep and of course myself i've been out here grinding and hustling on my vlogs back to back to back so that is why y'all haven't been seeing jamal but y'all will be seeing him soon if y'all miss him y'all can always go and subscribe to his channel at mel's here he will be there uploading new content next question from janae have you always been so confident and comfortable with yourself to answer that question no i was not always so confident it did not kick in until i was probably like 16 i was in high school that was like what sophomore or junior year I think it was my sophomore year. From elementary till my sophomore year, the kids were so cruel to me. They made me feel like I was just the ugliest thing they could ever bear to look at because of my dark skin. I mean, everybody had something to say about my dark skin and it really took a toll on me for a very long time. Thank God that I have my family and my mother um, to support me and encourage me to love myself, love my skin. And you know, they was just mad because they didn't have this glow. I mean, look at her, look at her, look at her. <laughs> so yes, at the age of 16, I was just like, child, look, when I look around, everybody with their terrible acne, their terrible skin, and they coming for me and my dark skin, honey, she didn't have pimples. She didn't have acne, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Next question is from Ashley Thompson. What's your favorite clothing store to shop at? What's my favorite clothing store? Hold on, y'all, this is my favorite clothing store. I really don't have a favorite clothing store, but when I used to shop like crazy, I used to always go to Fever 21. Fever 21, man, that was my favorite store. But once I started, you know, gaining weight, getting more healthy, I couldn't fit their clothes. So, <laughs> I just like, I do random shopping now, but my favorite clothing store, it used to be Forever 21, but I don't have a fave anymore. I have another question from Janae. First, you look like you smell good. What is your favorite scents slash cologne to wear? My favorite cologne is the YSL Y, I believe it is. YSL Y. I love Chanel Blue. Um, my all time favorite, favorite, favorite cologne, which they do not sell anymore is Christian Nior from Avon. Oh my gosh, that stuff is so good. I went online to see if there's any available, you know, like on eBay. Um, I think it was some on Amazon, but they are too high. Like, they know, the people that's selling that cologne, they know that cologne is the tea, and it's so high, and they just don't sell it anymore. It's discontinued. Another cologne that is discontinued that I love, it's actually a cologne mist, but it smells very perfumey. It's, it's definitely unisex, 
but it's called C.O. Bigelow New York and the fragrance is Bergamot Amber. That's it right there. I hope I said that name right. Bergamot? Bergamot? I don't know. But this smell really good. I had this for about three years and <laughs> Next question is from Danny J. Do you have a full-time job or is YouTube your full-time job? YouTube is my full-time job. I also do different things on the side like sponsorships. I do catering. The next question is from GB. Do you like vlogging or mukbangs more? Obviously, I love vlogging. Vlogging is just everything to me because I have more freedom to do what I want to do. Mukbangs, it was really slowing me down. Um, it kept me boxed in because the only thing people really wanted to watch was seafood mukbangs and I was really getting tired of seafood. Like I hardly eat seafood anymore. And the biggest reason why I stopped doing mukbangs, health problems. Y'all, not only I was gaining excessive weight doing mukbangs, then the pandemic hit, stuck in the house, was eating like crazy. Yes, I was active, but it just was not doing the job. It was causing heart confarctions, heavy breathing. It was just too much for me, y'all. So I had to stop. This is something that I shared like a lot, and hopefully this will be the last time I have to mention why I stopped doing mukbangs. But like I mentioned before, any event that you missed it, and you want to sponsor a mukbang, which I know I would not be doing every day because, girl, y'all don't miss it that much. My cash app is available in the description below. The next question. Next question is from Janae. What do you like in a man? I know they can't get enough of you, honey. <laughs> what do I like in a man? What I like in a man is a man that don't forget that they are a man. I like a real manly dude with a little bit of aggressiveness, you know what I'm saying, like that, that good twat, you know. <laughs> Smelling good, look good, beard, cause you know, I, I need a nice fluffy chair to sit on. Do you want kids? Yes. I would love to have a boy and a girl, of course adopt or surrogate, um, but overall the most that I can handle is probably like four. Four kids. Do you have someone that you've been looking at and ready to shoot your shot? Actually, no. No. I'm still on the dating scene, um, but I'm not taking anyone serious right now but myself. But you know, just have a little fun. Have you ever been a side piece? Probably. I mean, <laughs> dudes do whatever they want anyway, so it is what it is. If you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? If I had a million dollars, what would I do with it? The very first thing I would do is tear down the house that we own, get it rebuilt for my parents to, you know, live the rest of their life in. I would then do some major investments in myself and into other companies. Um, that has always been a thing that I've dreamed of doing. To sum up, everything that I would do is honestly set myself up for success and then all the other stuff it will fall into place. Are you bipolar or anxious? <laughs> I have anxiety real bad um, but nothing crazy. I'm learning how to actually control it because you you really can't control it. I don't care what nobody tell you. You can control it. You can control everything around you. Trust and believe me when I say that. Have you ever dressed up or did a drag show? In my room? <laughs> Not in public. Not in public. Alright, y'all. I think that is all the questions of the day. Thank you to everyone that had participated in the Q&A. I truly appreciate it. Without you, this video wouldn't have been possible. Remember, you guys, this is just day one of kicking off the Vlogtober challenge. Please have your notification bells for all uploads because I will be uploading every single day this month. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye! He's so bangy.